Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Christina. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you all about how to get a grant or scholarship in nursing school. In my videos, I talk about nursing school and a plant-based diet. If you like these types of videos, please like this video and subscribe down below. Let's get into it. When I first started nursing school, I had no idea how I was going to pay for tuition because it obviously is very expensive, especially the fact that this is my second degree. I am in an accelerated program, so I just wasn't sure how I would be able to afford the whole program out of pocket without getting a ton of loans or anything like that because I didn't want to add to my already current loans. I wanted to make sure that I had my program mostly paid off by the time that I graduated. So in my first semester of nursing school, I received an email saying that if you have been affected by COVID in any way, then you would be able to apply for a COVID grant. And now that is with your school in particular. Typically all of the schools will receive this COVID grant and they will discuss the logistics as far as how much you are able to receive for that semester. Now, the biggest thing that I learned was that you're able to apply multiple times for it. As soon as your school gets more money from the government, then you can apply for more of the grant. These grants you do not have to pay back, which is really, really great, and you are not taxed on them as well. So that was like the biggest thing for me. I, was, I wasn't sure if I would have to pay tax back or like eventually have to pay them back kind of like essentially alone. So I didn't want to do something like that. So I was happy that we were able to have these sort of grants. Now, the amount of money that they were able to give me was not enough to pay even a quarter of a semester. It was just really helpful for like books or just some school supplies, things like that. So then I looked further into if there was any other scholarships or different grants that I would be able to receive. So what I did was I spoke to the person who was in charge of the grants because I figured that if she is in charge of distributing the COVID grants, then she might have an idea on how I can get a different sort of grant or scholarship through my program or through my school. So typically these grants and scholarships are geared specifically towards undergraduate students but without a prior degree. So being that I already have a bachelor's degree, I was automatically disqualified from half of those grants and scholarships. So when I reach out to that lady from school, the one that was in charge of the COVID grants and making sure that students had um, that money dispersed to them and how much that they would be allocated, I asked her if there was any other grants for my specific situation because I'm a nursing student and how I could pay off some of the tuition. After speaking with her, she was able to direct me over to someone else who was actually in charge of scholarships and grants in particular overall for the school. So now there are tons of scholarships and grants that do not even get used because students do not even apply to them. So I asked her if there was any grants or scholarships that I could apply for for my particular situation and she said yes. So she told me to apply to this grant that was directly through school that I had no idea about. I didn't even really see it listed anywhere but I asked her about it and she asked me to write a letter about why I need the money, um, how it will benefit me and just a little bit about my situation. So I did that and I was able to get half of my fall tuition paid. So for me, that is a huge win because I went from this huge amount that I had to owe in the fall semester, but now it's literally half of that is going to be covered from that specific grant. And then we also get the COVID grant. If we have more money that would be allocated for us, then I could add that on top of that. For me, I think it's great because I have not only one, but two grant opportunities and that will definitely take off a huge chunk for fall semester. You're probably thinking now, what do I do in my situation or your situation rather, that you can get the same grant or scholarships. Simply just contact the office, uh, not financial aid office, but the office that handles dispersing these sort of grants and scholarships. And if you don't know, simply type in your school name and type in scholarships or grants. Then you'll see the information about all of these scholarships and grants that your school has to offer. And you should be able to pretty quickly find an email address or a phone number for someone who is in charge of that specific area. You can reach out to them and ask them if there's any specific grants or scholarships. If you're an ABSN student, ask them if they have any grants that would be 
available for you. Another thing that I recommend is to apply to specific grants. So what I mean by that is there might be websites that have a ton of grants that you could apply for. I actually don't recommend doing that. I personally found it a waste of my time and I never heard back from any of them. And even if you did win something, maybe it was like a hundred bucks, but even so, I never even won anything from any of those that I've ever applied to. The ones that I actually benefited from or received the grant or scholarship were the ones that were smaller. So like your local hospitals, they might even have those. There is a scholarship in my area that if you get selected, then you will be able to get a stipend each semester for a particular amount but the catch is that you have to work for them for two years but for some people that's not a big deal because you want a job or you know that you're going to be living in that area so then for you that's a great thing to do so i would definitely look into the smaller scholarships even ask your professors a lot of them do know that sort of thing because they talk to other teachers and they talk to other nurses even at the different hospitals that you do clinicals at it's always a good question to ask are there any scholarships available are there any grants available because a lot of hospitals have that sort of dynamic where if you are able to give them some of your time after you graduate by working then they will provide you with that stipend ahead of time so there's also um, ways that you can even work for a hospital and have your school paid for or partially paid for. And most often that involves you having a full-time job, which many of us cannot. But if you can, it's definitely something to look into because there might be an affiliate program or there might be something along those lines that will help you pay for school. One other thing that I recommend is if you're working for a fast food chain or even somewhere like Home Depot, find out if they provide any scholarships like at school does because they have some programs where since you are automatically an employee, then you'll get this X amount of money per semester and sometimes they don't care about what school you're going to. It just has to be a four year school, let's say or something of that nature. So definitely look into those things. If you're working at certain stores or certain with certain companies, they might offer that and you might not even know. Even if it's a couple of thousand dollars here and there, it will add up. So definitely look into all the different resources and you will definitely see at least a deduction per semester. And like I said, even if it helps pay for books or something, something is better than nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and subscribe down below. Like always, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, I really, really don't mind answering them. I always answer people on my Instagram, like if you could send me a message or even comments down below. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.